The conditions and sufferings of the flood victims are indescribable as they have lost their houses and family property and are living in temporary places. Now our party should bear full responsibility for them and find itself among them in order to share the people's suffering in them. Now our state is faced with difficulties to combat two challenges. One of them is to do dynamic anti-epidemic work for thoroughly coping with the world public health crisis and the other is the unexpected natural disaster. The party and our government should present the correct direction of policy to overcome the two crises. <laughs> and government organs should play their role properly. We cannot have the flood victims feeling left homeless and greet the 75th founding anniversary of the Workers' Party of Korea to say and in detail sexual costs and ways to dispel the flood damages as early as possible and stabilize the life of the people. Kim Jong un stressed the need to ascribe the recovery from flood damages not merely to the construction of dispelling the natural damages and restoration of life, that's an important political work for glorifying the 75th founding anniversary of the world of South Korea as a Chinese people's holiday and the revolutionary holiday cementing the single minded unity. He underscored the need to renew the afflicted areas according to the demand and desire of the people and the level of developed times on this occasion and hear the opinions of the inhabitants in the regions concerned and build them in appropriate positions qualitatively lest they should be damaged even though natural disasters and costs may occur in the future. He said, the reality is that the spread of the malignant virus is worsened worldwide calls for disallowing any external assistance concerning the flood damages and more tightly closing the border and strictly doing the anti-epidemic work. Good education should be given so that inhabitants in the afflicted areas and those involved in the campaign for recovery from damages cannot violate the anti-epidemic regulations. We should dynamically push forward the work for recovery from damages and prove in practice once again the revolutionary nature of oversharing and dispelling the misfortunes and sufferings of the people and defending the people as well as the superiority of our system. Our party should do its sacred duty proudly in the face of the people and thus live up to the trust and expectation of the people he appears time and again. Kim Jong-un proposed instructing the decision of the political bureau of the party central committee and the joint order of the party central committee, the party central military commission and the state affairs commission, reflecting the urgent task of struggle to finish the campaign for recovery from flood damages in the main and stabilize the inhabitants until October the 10th through great unity and cooperation of the army and people loyal to the leadership of the party. Next, the Politburo meeting agreed on the issue of a mechanism to establish a well-regulated state anti-epidemic work system along with the protracted emergency anti-epidemic campaign and points out the issue of the new mechanism on correctly exercise its authority and enhancing its responsibility and role. It also decided on lifting the blockade of the forefront area including Kassong City, which has been enforced since July 24 because of the emergency that happened in the forefront area according to scientific verification and guarantees of a professional anti-epidemic institution. Kim Jong-un said it was confirmed that the anti-epidemic situation has been still kept and controlled in a stable way since the forefront area was blockaded for over 20 days. He sent his strength in the name of the party central committee to the people in the blockade zone who follow the measures of the party and the government with one mind while overcoming the inconveniences in their life, though isolated, <laughs> and to the service personnel, public security and state security men and <laughs> Of 
on the program. The preparation of national events was grandly commemorating the 75th founding anniversary of the Workers' Party of Korea, according to the decision of the 5th plenary meeting of the 7th Party Center. members of the political bureau of the party center committee. By the proclamation of the political bureau of the party center committee, the chairman of the State Affairs Commission of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea dismissed and appointed the premier of the cabinet of the DPRK according to the authority granted by the Socialist Constitution. He appointed the Kim Dok-kun premier of the cabinet of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. The meeting elected vice chairman of the party central committee.